you may have never experienced time in nature as a child, or you're really an indoorsy type person, or nature just never really interested you. Perhaps you just struggle to enjoy it when you're out there. If you don't really like the outdoors, but you believe that your child does need to spend some time in nature, today I have some simple tips that will help you find delight in nature, which will, in turn, allow you to enjoy time that you're out there with your kids. Hi, my name is Penny Whitehouse and I taught children about the natural world for over 10 years as a wildlife and environmental educator. Plus, I'm a mum of three. Today, I help parents use nature play to create happier, healthier childhoods for their kids. So if you want simple tips and tricks that make getting your kids outside easier, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I make a new video. I can't say I completely understand how you feel because I've always been really enthusiastic about going outside, but I do know how it feels to be, you know, a little <laughs> to some parts of nature. Let me tell you why. <laughs> My first job out of university was as a zookeeper. I know, something I'd probably say when I was five years old, but I really was a zookeeper and I loved it. It was really fun at the time. Anyway, I was very passionate about wildlife, but very uninterested in trees and plants, which seems very weird because animals need habitat to survive, right? Oh, I was so naive. But now I geek out about flora. So I have a really good idea on how to be excited about something that I genuinely wasn't interested in at all. So here's five tips that will really help you to feel more comfortable, confident, and even joyous when you're out in nature with your little ones. So the first tip is to find things that spark delight. So on the top of your head, can you think of anything that sparks delight in you from nature? So it could be rainbows or sunflowers or lady beetles. Uh, I keep going to snakes, but I know you're probably not that keen on snakes. Um, here's a little snippet of me outside and just warning you, I had gone for a walk, so my face is like a tomato. And I don't have my glasses on, so you might get a bit of a rude shock. But I just wanted to show you something that, that I found in nature or that I find in nature that really sparks delight in me. I'm not at my best because I've just gone for a massive walk and it's summer here in Australia, so it's really hot, so I'm sweating like crazy. But I wanted to show you um, one of the things that brings me joy when I'm out in nature. And I think that's one tip that can really help you is just to find those little moments of joy that, that spark an interest and a bit of excitement. So what I found with these two gorgeous mushrooms, <laughs> you can tell in my voice that it makes me really excited. So <laughs> I just thought um, I, I'd show you the things that really um, interest me. But mushrooms might not be your thing. It might be different types of birds or um, your different types of flowers. So think about finding those things when you're outside and get excited about them when you see them. And don't forget to share that excitement with your child. Number two is learn names. So when I was about five years old, the first tree that I learned the name of was the Poinciana tree. And I've never ever forgotten its name. And every time I see it, I say it by name and I kind of get a little bit excited. <laughs> So my interest in flora was peaked in the, the exact same way. I might not have been interested in it in my teenage years or even my young adult years, but it really peaked when I started to go to the nursery and buy plants in my backyard and I would learn the flora, the names of them, the common names mostly, although I'm, I do geek out a little bit and learn scientific names occasionally. But most of the time when I've got the common names, I know what they are. And because they usually get native plants, I see them around my local area. And so when I find one, I'm like, that's a, a macaranga tree, for example. And my girls will attest to that because they always, whenever I see a macaranga tree, I tell them <laughs> and they know what it is now too. So you do really get excited by things once you're able to put a name to it and recognize it and identify it in your, in your, when you're out and about. Number three is be prepared and start small. If you're new to going outside a lot, then just take it slow. You don't have to go for long hikes or you know go out for the whole day. Just start going out in short increments and extend on it as you feel more comfortable in an outdoor space. I would suggest being prepared though, no matter whether you go out into your backyard or you go out 
you know, into a nature reserve. Because sometimes if you're not prepared, nature can be frustrating. I mean, think about all those mozzies. If we don't have, you know, mozzie repellent or ticks, it can sometimes become really frustrating. So being prepared will help you feel more comfortable in that space. We go deeper into the barriers that stop you from getting outside or the feelings that you receive when you go outside in the Nature Play Club. It's almost ready to launch, so I'll post a link to it if you're interested in joining the waitlist. Number four is relax and use your senses. If you're a little on edge when you're outside, this may be a challenge and that's okay, but tune into your senses while you're outside. This could mean something as simple as feeling the breeze on your face or smelling the rain that's coming or feeling your bare feet on the cool earth. Relax into it and feel what nature can provide that allows you to unwind. Number five, and my personal favorite, is to see nature through the eyes of your child and be curious. Let your child be the guide. You don't have to know it all, and it turns out that your kids are perfectly equipped to get curious about their wealth, and hopefully they'll take you on the ride. Question everything in nature. So for example, why are those ants surrounding that cicada? What animals do you think made those scratches? Why does that plant have such beautiful colors? One of my biggest lessons about interacting with my children in nature was not to give them the answers, was just to ask the question to my child and see what they came up with. Here's another bonus tip. Keep a gratitude journal with your kids. Truly, it won't take long to find joy in nature when you're purposely looking for it. I hope that gave you some helpful tips that will get you a little more excited to go outside with your children. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. If you enjoyed it and if it was helpful for you, please give this video a like. It really helps people find this information on YouTube. And if you have any other helpful tips or tricks, please let me know in the comments below. I'm here to help you make it easy to get your kids outside and help them reap all the benefits that playtime in nature has to offer. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when a new video is posted. It's time to add a pinch of adventure, a sprinkle of sunshine and a big handful of outdoor play.